I would like to share with you the wonderful weekend we had. It was a amazing. It was an amazing experience. It was a spiritual retreat, and in this, we went to one of the slums in Pune, and we conducted. I camp over there, and you know it for me. It felt as if you know in a kumbh mela, streams from different parts come together and they merge, and something amazing comes up. Something just like that happened. People from all walks of life, different orientations, they came in, and. everybody had just one thing in their mind how can we help these poor people better and when there is purity of intention and strength in action then miracles are possible the place we had was very small when we had done a visit earlier we were saying that perhaps it's not possible this might not be possible that might not be we have this difficulty that difficulty that difficulty but it was so smooth that one could not even imagine how it could happen and yesterday evening when we were trying to you know recollect we were not none of us could actually put a point or put our finger how is it that this magic came about the patients over there also were overwhelmed and of course what we did was a part of the satyam shatabdi yog yag activities dedicated to gurudev on the occasion of his birth centenary year swami ji taught us to reach out so that you can connect with him we speak of the atma and we say that the same atma is there in everybody but when that person having the same atma is in pain sorrow suffering i am not able to feel it history has very few people who spontaneously have been able to experience it but we are not able to so for us that philosophy is a mere armchair discussion how can we convert it into a living reality in our life when the pain of that person starts affecting me that person is going hungry that person is blind that person is in all sorts of physical and mental ailments and i start getting disturbed we do get disturbed when it is my husband my wife my daughter my son my mother my father then we do get disturbed but when a, there is a person beyond that circle of i me myself then what happens a child is crying the whole night and i am not able to soothe the child my whole night goes in trying to pacify the child i don't even realize that oh i didn't sleep a wink the child is crying i need to comfort it but when the same thing happens in my neighbor's house what is my first reaction more often than not it is oh my god my whole night was fired i couldn't sleep a wink that child was just yelling away the whole night situation is the same the child is in pain sorrow suffering hardship but since it's my child i am fully active when it is my neighbor's child i don't even worry oh my god is there something i can do is does that person need some help no that thought doesn't even strike to me so when we are speaking of this how can we even look at higher levels but that is how we are is there a way that we can go beyond our minds are fickle our bodies are weak our time is constrained so how can we 
manage to harmonize our mind because only with when you harmonize the mind, bring it in balance, that you are able to experience these higher truths. That is where Swamiji got in. The yoga of the heart, as we call it. Reach out to connect with him. As you selflessly, without any motive, try and help those who are down and out, who are not in that bracket of mind, or nor are they able to reciprocate in any manner. What will that poor person be able to give me? Nothing. But they, when we help them in a desire only to help them, nothing else, then from above something comes in. And that allows the breakthrough to take place in our life. In our lives also we have problems and we are not able to solve them. If we want to solve those breakthroughs, let us try and reach out to others and work for them, think for them in the same intensity as we would do for ourselves. And when we do this selflessly, then grace comes. This is what Swamiji had taught. And on the birth centenary of Swamiji, that is the dedication Satyam Sumiran Yoga Research Foundation is giving to Swamiji. Yesterday and day before was an example of that. We had medical camp and very beautifully, we had also a beautiful educational activity. Children over there, they, you know, one of the ladies who was offering seva, she just happened to talk to a child. Oh, which class are you? You know, the usual banter. And then the child suddenly came up. Oh, I'm studying this, this, that. So she also said, why not? Oh, what, are, what exam? What are you doing? This, that. And one thing led to other. And she started, you know, in her uh, purity of heart, she started, oh, you have some uh, problem. Let me see if I can help you out. And children just came and came and came. They were thirsting for knowledge. And that is something which was so beautiful. It was a really amazing experience. And that was all these experiences were culminated with the yajna. Yajna to invoke the grace for healing. Yajna to invoke the grace for ecological balance. Yajna to invoke the grace for peace, plenty and prosperity. And this was only possible by the hard work and dedication of our entire team, which I like to call as the Satyam Seva Sena. Sena, yes, army. When we have to fight hunger, when we have to fight weakness, illness, problem, they are also enemies. They are also powerful enemies. So we need an army. It is this yogic army which came together and created And today I would like to take this occasion to thank each and every one of them and all of you for your participation in this Sankar. Hari Om Satsat, Namo Narayan, 